Chapter 9 It's like tears can't be said, Ravain. It still continues to drip. He felt her walking on him Neptali and his squeeze on her shoulder. Not since they arrived at the hacienda it still leaves beside him. It is always supportive on all occasions. His grandfather had been in business for a long time it's brain cancer. But it's not that informed him. It even asked the it's doctor that you don't tell him. He felt so insignificant his grandson because he didn't even notice, which is not just a simple disease fought by his grandfather. Life is so unfair. Now that he had found it the love that he knows will make him happy him for life will suddenly appear. The blow that will bring sadness. His grandfather Bartolo has left him. He could not explain the emptiness he felt as he watched the little, gradually lowering its coffin into the pit. Nothing who is the only relative he knows. The only family she had now was Neptali. Perhaps it also felt that he preached at that moment because its embrace is even tighter with him. After a few days came to Hacienda his grandfather's lawyer for reading the will. Half of my property is I bequeath to my granddaughter Ravain Natalie Arboleta. The other half is will go to his wife Neptali Innocent. That is what is stated in the will of Lolo Bartolo Reed by attorney Pex unto them. Before the lawyer finally left there was this white envelope was handed over to them of Naftali. When he opened it, he was shocked her grandfather's handwriting. He read it. Dear Ravane, forgive me for what I did manipulation and forcing you to marry the grandson of my friend Fortune to Naftali. I feel like it won't last long my life. And I can't be quiet about leaving you alone. I needed someone to look after you. I also ask for forgiveness for this matter, but I just want to protect you. I chose to entrust you to Neptali because I know I think he will be a good wife for you. I know he will take care of you and be your refuge of strength. Now that you know everything, I ask you to make that marriage work. Believe me, you belong to each. Other, don't waste your love for between you be obedient to Neptali, Ravain. Be sensitive to all needs your wife Neptali take care of my grandson. Don't be him cry, please make her happy. I desire your happiness. At the bottom of the letter was the signature of his grandfather the paper was read because it was learned that of his tears. He didn't care about the treasure left behind his grandfather's. He had left her more precious legacy. Naftali. It should be bigger that he should thank her for helping him it found the man meant for him. With Neptali's help forever Ravain sighed in depression. More exhausted their union of happiness. Even how as he recovered from the death of his grandfather, he became even more attentive to her. Even if he doesn't say that he loves her too, he feels that. Gone, he can ask for more. He also entrusted here the company management. After all, it's not new here as the ins and outs of such a business. Then as for someone like him who is still groping that will be in charge. He would also like to suggest here too, his grandfather's company just merged with Grandpa Fortune's company. One of those days he will come and say that. In that way Grandpa Fortune can now rest although it tells them not to this concern because it is said to be stronger than Buffalo it might be weaker without it. It is being done. The Hacienda is in the hands of Meng he managed it because he was smaller it runs that. Maybe you're pushing too hard your own work, he said to his wife when it comes he really waited for her to come home. He had noticed it in the past few days is always late at home. When he asked it in the kitchen to eat it said more it wants to rest. He didn't force it anymore. He has followed it upon entering their room. It would be prepared he gave her a hot bath, but she just got dressed and went to bed immediately. She joined him in bed instead. He looked tired because he was done with this kiss, he just pulled her closer here and fell asleep. He was about to fall asleep when the sound of his spirit is his cell phone. I would like to he woke her up and felt sorry for her he is here. He stood up from the bed and took it from his pocket the cell phone is his pants. Farah is name registered on the small screen. Even that it is bad to interfere with the things of those who have things he answered the call. He didn't get rid of the curiosity to find out if who owns that name. May he also felt that this was not a client, let alone and at such a time calling. One more, the placement of is also very informal its name in the phone book on the cell phone. He pressed the answer button. Hello? Nep, can we meet? Tomorrow. It was a woman's voice. Neptali is asleep. Who's this? Calmly he asked. But it didn't answer. It's immediate lost on the other line. He just returned at the cell phone in his pants pocket husband that call bothered her. He 
He is confidence to Naftali. He won't fight it just because in delusion, in baseless accusations. But even if he denied it, it was little by little jealousy and doubt enter the, his heart. He needs to find out true, so that his doubt or he will completely swell. Ravain called Mina and Lee already he will not come in that day. He told them that he had take care of important things. No longer, they asked. He deliberately went to Arboleta Industries when. That day, the employees congratulated him arriving there. But he didn't do it anymore also congratulate them. She was too preoccupied with her thoughts. He asked Neptali's secretary if he was in the office when he got there. It seems that he is reluctant to let him stay inside. That's why he went straight and even if it doesn't allow him yet. When he opened the door, it was a no a pleasant sight surprised him. Neptali had a woman on her lap. The two seemed to be kissing. He smirked to get attention of these. They soon separated seeing that there was another person there besides these. Our Ravain? What are you doing here? Apparently Neptali asked in disbelief him. It even smeared the lipstick that spread on edge of its lips. Why is it bad for your husband to visit you? You. He emphasized the last word. N. Not at all. He can see the sweat that it felt on its forehead even though it was cold the air conditioner in that room. By the way, Farah, this is my wife, Ravain. Sweetie, meet Farah. Yeah, I'm Farah, Neptali's ex, girlfriend, set of women. Bitter realization hit her. He feels at the gradual return of the ghosts of harsh truth that comes from its past. Now, even if there is wife Neptali still meets here the ex-boyfriend, it's like nothing care about that fact. Farah, I think you should go, he said Neptali said here. It obeyed. It still haunts him before finally going out. Ravain, I have to explain. You don't have to explain anything to me, Naftali. Isn't it? It was before we got married we agreed that we will not interfere with each other's life, he said holding back tears. He was just trying to calm himself so that he wouldn't it was obvious that he was affected by the scene he suffered earlier. But I want to explain. There is nothing. He cut her off again. I have to go. After saying that, he turned his back on her. He even heard her calling him name, but he didn't look at it. He needs to get out of that place immediately. He is more afraid of what could be he decided if he listened to the it will say. Surely believe that his stupid heart. He didn't do anything about it when he came home in the evening. Are you mad? Me mad? Why would I get mad? Nothing I should be angry, right? Besides, we agreed, even before we got married, that it wasn't we will interfere in each other's lives. Are you jealous of Farah? Suddenly asked this. Dream on, Neptali. He put a pillow between them. He also covered his face with a pillow and ready to sleep. If you're not jealous, what are you doing? These are the first among us. If you don't want to sleep, go to sleep you. He snorted. Ravain is leaving the house the next day when Farah arrived. Even if it's not him wanted to deal with still prevailed on him curiosity about what it means. What brought you here? He asked. I didn't come here to fight. I came here to plead with you divorce Neptali. It's like pity, he said in a desperate voice. It was as if his anger suddenly dissolved here, especially that when he saw the pleading in the eyes this. He felt sorry for her. I know you were forced to marry me Naptali, and he is the same with you. It is necessary he did that because his grandfather needed it Don Bartolo's help for the company them, he said. I love him very much, Ravain. I gave in when he told me that he just had to do it. When married he will make a way for you that will be repealed as soon as possible, period. But I can't stand it anymore. And I'll admit I'm afraid of falling he wants you, he added crying. She is also a woman and she understands the it feels he knows the suffering inside it because of the distance between it and Neptali. He winced at the thought. He couldn't go on any longer be with Neptali, even if it's expensive he loved her. If he knew there was one hurt girl, maybe it was time to let go. He can handle it be patient for the man she loves. If where it will be happy, it should be happy too he is for it. Don't worry, I'll talk to Neftali about that matter, he said he said to Farah. He, but don't tell him the let's talk about it. There is the fear of its voice. Don't worry, it's not me. Will be mentioned to him, he answered. S. Thank you, he said as if crying. I think we should end this charade already, Ravain said casually while combing her hair. 
From the mirror, he saw the violent one Neptali got up from the bed. His expression was that of disbelief and anger. Why? Are you tired of looking? Me? Or because you get mad at me for snoring I? It said sarcastically. I just thought we had to finish all of this. He has his. His two we are alive that must be taken care of, he said. Like he applauded himself for being calm, he declared. Have you found a man to love? You? It seemed to be an alarmed question. Nope, the seeming insecurity escaped his hearing in its voice. No other man. I just thought that since grandfather is gone and you have raised their company, maybe it's time for both of us to move on with our lives, he said forcefully with a soothing voice. He approached her and turned her forward here. He was looking directly at his people eye, but we are both happy, aren't we? Why do we have to separate? Question this. He saw the anger contained in those its eyes. But there was another spark see him there. But he didn't want to cheat on his eyes could see that it's just his illusion. He didn't want to rely on one something uncertain. It's a matter of when he clings to may turn out to be false and his will be more and more painful will eventually be released. He closed his eyes tightly to stop fall the forming tears. I would like to he said he was just joking. But take revenge in his eyes the tearful form of girl he talked to. So even though it's hard for him to tolerate is necessary let him do that. I'm serious. Tomorrow I will take care of the about the annulment, he said coldly voice he went to the bed. He covered it with pillow his face when lying down for it could not see her crying. He even heard it slam shut the door of their room. Neftali, I love you. The intensity of love is too fertile which it planted in his heart. Became of that is a big tree of love. Strong, hard to break. But it's necessary. That maybe he will learn to forget that that's love. Why again you break up? Mina asked Ravain in surprise. Isn't it your story to us, and I sometimes you have never had a big one argument? Why do you want it all of a sudden? Annul your marriage, also confusedly asked. No matter how perfect ours is integration, we still can't deny it we didn't like this thing in the first place just. It's time for us to go our separate ways, Ravain explained. He no longer hid his bitterness from his friends. In his form and the threatening tears in his eyes. It was hard to let go of a loved one. But don't want to he locked Neptali in an integration that is only because of the order of a died and was in debt. We see suffering and pain you, said Lee. Yes, because you love him, full of Mina said for sure. And don't you dare deny it. I can also forget him, he said. 